All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna continue in the fashion of the last one. The last one I answered the question, the age old question I've been asked many times, do I really think I can make the NFL? And that's a big fucking question. That's a heavy question. Uh, it's a question I've never really answered directly and I answered it in my previous video. So if you wanna see my, my answer, please go check that out. But in the meantime, we're gonna talk about pro kick. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is oh. Another question I get asked a lot, you know, I've, I, I went down to, to, to Melbourne recently, twice actually, uh, but the second time I managed to link up with uh, an American football academy here in Australia that has relationships with D1 teams and NCAA coaches and trains up punters who've come from other sports here in Australia, down in Melbourne, they get trained up for, for, for 6 to 12 months. It's a course, academic course as well, you learn the game of football as well. You come out of that, hopefully, fingers crossed, with an offer of a full ride scholarship for four years to a D1 university or college in, uh, in America. That's the path that they set out in front of their athletes. Um, the first step is going down to Melbourne and having an assessment, a $100 assessment. It's almost like going for a PT session, okay, but it's kicking and it's football related and you're with all the other fellas that are already on the course. So what happened, I went down, I paid my $100 and I came in with three other new boys. There's probably about 25 lads down there. We came in and basically just joined in to a normal Sunday morning session. It was from 6.30 to 9 o'clock, two and a half hours. And I'll tell you what, man, regardless of what happened, regardless of how my performance went, I had so much fun. I loved it. I, was in my, I felt like I was in my element. I really did. And I think the coaches saw that as well. So I came out of that feeling amazing. I felt like, man, I just want to come back tomorrow and do it again. But I couldn't because I had to come back to Alice Springs where I live. So that was a, a quick trip, but it, it got me involved in, this, in the program. And so from there, obviously I've talked to the coaches. Now, the coaches have told me and multiple other people, if you get an offer, you come down, you do your assessment. If we give you an offer, that is us putting our belief in you and saying, look, if you come down, if you commit and you do what we believe you can do, we are pretty much, well, you know, I think they said we are guaranteeing you a D1 scholarship if you get accepted. So I came back up to Alice Springs. It was about two weeks since I uh, went down there. The coaches actually went on a bit of a holiday, which was not good timing because it made me really anxious thinking, fuck, maybe I didn't do well because they didn't get in contact with me. Anyways, they eventually did. And lo and behold, I have been offered a place um, in the academy for next year. So in the previous video, I talked about the fact that I've worked in my, in my current full-time job up here in Alice Springs and been able, to, been able to accumulate three months worth of annual leave. Now that's taken years and a lot of discipline to not take it, but I do have 12 weeks of annual leave, okay? And that starts the end of February. So what I've said to the coaches is, look, I can commit, I'm gonna keep training up here, keep making my videos, Keep working, obviously. Keep you know trying to get, trying to uh, build up my my bank balance as a bit of a buffer, so that when this holiday time does come around, I can make a decision and, and commit somewhere and go and live somewhere else and train and, and do whatever I need to do. So in the previous video we talked about the NFL. Okay, that is, that's a dream, um, but I do have belief in that dream, and that's that's all you really need. You need to be able to dream, then believe, and then achieve. So. We're talking about college football now. We're talking about pro, pro kick Australia. So I've been accepted into the program. It's gonna be up to me whether at the end of February, on my three months leave, I choose to go overseas and do other things, or I choose to commit to pro kick. Okay, so I'll be going there from the end of February to the end of May for those three months, training as hard as I can, doing as much as I can, and I guess at that point, I've still got my job up here as a backup, but at that point, I can choose to either go full in, like, well, I mean, I'm already head first in at that point, but to, to really commit, say, quit my job up here and say, look, 
I'm committing to Melbourne, I'm moving here full time, we're going to do this. Or if it's not, if it's not all I, you know, hoped it would be, because it's, it's no guarantee. You know, I'd be stupid to quit my job, you know, rent my house out and go down to, uh, to Melbourne thinking it's all going to be great and dandy because it's going to be hard fucking work, really hard work. It's a big commitment, but it's a commitment that I am so excited about because I, it's, it's, I see this, this is real talk, man. I see this as my second chance. I see this as a second life. I'm 27. I moved to Australia when I was 19. I've been in the workforce full time since I was 17. I've worked 10 years full time work, different jobs. My last job I've been in for five years now, so that's definitely my, my longest, longest time in a particular job. But I feel like I've, I've, I've lived a life. You know, I've got, I've got a child. She is going to be taken care of, right? Put it that way. So any of you guys worrying about, you know, where my daughter's going to be, she's going to be taken care of. I've been able to negotiate with the mum. You know, she, she, she supports me now, but she's not going to be living in Alice Springs. So there's going to be nothing here for me except for my job. My daughter's not going to be here. My sister's here. My friends are here. But as far as, you know, as far as networking, as far as rubbing shoulders with the right people, leveling up my life and the people in it, I've got to get the fuck out of here. So I feel as though as the new year rolls around, I will become, you know, closer to making my decision as to exactly what I want to do. But honestly, I feel like it's already made. I feel like, you know, we've been in contact with the coaches. I've, I've said to them, I will commit. Well, I basically said, look, I appreciate you accepting me into the, into the course. I'm keen as fuck. They know I'm keen. You know, we've been through the age factor. I think they've got, they've got, they've gotten a 32 year old, a full ride scholarship before. So me being 27, 28 next year, it's, it's, it's no big deal. And that was, that was a concern for me. So to get past that is good. I'm not concerned about that anymore. Like I said in the previous video, I've played almost 20 years of rugby, but for, for the last three or four, I haven't. So my body hasn't taken any hits. I'm fresh. I feel good. I feel ready to start training towards something. And so going back to what I was saying before, I feel like this is a second chance. I feel like this is a second life. Can you imagine it? 10 years of full-time work. Just had my first kid. To move down to Melbourne, commit to that, and then get a full ride scholarship, have four years in America, having an amazing time, come back with a free education. I might not even come back to Australia. You know? What if I met someone over there? You know, what if I met the right people? What if I got an awesome job? What if I got an awesome opportunity to work somewhere? Who knows, man? You've just got to, you've got to be there for it to happen. You've got to be there for anything to happen. I want to be talking face to face in front of the right people right now, rather than a fucking camera, because that's going to get me results. You know, you're going to, you're going to meet the right people eventually. And you are a product of the people you're around the most. And so for me, I look after crazy people all day, literally. So how do you think I feel? 12 hour shifts with crazy people. It's got to end soon. And I would so much rather be putting my time and effort into something physical, like a sport, like an amazing sport, like college football, and trying to have my second chance at life, trying to have my second chance at playing top level sport. That's what it's about. So I'm going to leave it there. I've rambled fucking a lot, but this is me being real. This is me updating you guys on pro kick and what's happening. I don't know exactly what's happening, but I think after talking, you guys probably can tell, you know, I've, I've basically said to the coaches, look, end of February, that's when I can commit. In the previous video, I talked about, you know, traveling during those three months that I've got off work, but if there was no, if I was convinced there was no hope in me even getting a sniff in an NFL team, then I would cut that. I'd say, fuck that. I'm going to stay in, I'm going to stay in Australia. I won't travel to America. I'll stay here. I'll commit to pro kick and see what happens there. I feel like, I think pro kick actually has a trip to the U S with their boys um, throughout the year, just to check out some facilities and stuff. So I guess that might be my first trip to the U S um, which would be sick. 
you know, I'd be shown around and shown the facilities of few, uh, a couple of universities, maybe the ones that are actually interested in me at the time, but that would be, you know, later next year. So anyways, that's it guys. If you want to support me, you want to support the channel, hit like. If you want to subscribe and see where this journey goes, I couldn't tell you where, but it's, it's going somewhere. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.